fresh meat and then wrap the at one end of the come to with the film, plastic film. Mm -hmm. And that's how the concept would realize there's some form of food in the attitude. It bites that film that covers the open the lining of the tube and melts it out. So yes, the old hey look snack JK, it's a tube covered in cigarette wrap. Thank you. Now, do cone snails have enemies that are not researchers trying to smelt them? Well, patron Eli Johnson has two part question. Firstly, asks, what? Secondly, asks, do they use the venom on other snails, be they cone snails or vanilla non venomous ones? What about other cone snails? Are other cone snails susceptible to being venomized, or are they so immune that it doesn't even face them? Mm -hmm. You mean attacking each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, is that used in mating at all? Is there like an aphrodisiac? The other type of cone snail, the, the one that actually hunts for other gastropods, where venom is specialized for hunting other mollusks underwater, including other cone snails. We've actually seen this in, in the laboratory setting for it. You accidentally put a snail hunting cone snail in another tank that has a snail in it, and it actually that cone snail. Oh wow. <laughs> so you have to be really careful when you know the when you have a collection and you have live snails and bring them into the lab. You really need to separate those snail hunting cone snails from the rest of the cone snail. Because they're gonna eat it. Oh wow. <laughs> so the worm hunting snail would go well with the fish hunting snail, <laughs> yeah. but never with the snail hunting cone snails. Just you're basically giving them food. Yeah. But who wants to eat snails for breakfast? Well, you know, on that note of eating cone snails, Timothy Wang, Kelly Ulig, and Talia Dunyak all wanted to know, can we eat them? Are they tasty? Um, and Talia wants to know, if I eat one, would it kill me or just be vaguely spicy? Mm, yes, you can eat cone snails. I tried it before. What? Uh, yeah, but not all parts of it. It's amazing. Okay, you can't eat shells, I guess, right? <laughs> Only eat the venom. <laughs> Well, if anyone's going to be prepared to actually cut that up with a scalpel and take out the better, it'd be you, Joshua. Like, who else is going to be in the kitchen being like, I got this. I'm going to take out a spaghetti noodle filled with poison and gently put that aside. The edible part, at least for my experience, was actually the food. Oh, God. Cool. Yeah, so, so that's actually a really nice part of this meal that people can't eat. You don't want to just come out there. So yeah. yeah. But the, the food is something that we can eat from the really big snails, like the geography snail. Um, and they taste like, you know, like any other mollusks that we eat, like a squid or a tentacle or an octopus. The texture is like that. Mm -hmm. It's a little chewy. Yeah, they're chewy. I'm glad that at least one of us on this call has eaten them, <laughs> so we know. And what I, would, uh, I would also caution people because there are current species that are endangered or like, you know, it take a while to develop and things like yeah. that. So just like with other seafood, you know, I, I would encourage people, you know, California cocktail is an incredibly common species. You can find it pretty much everywhere. You are not, you don't have to worry about coming in and just popping the same and like there's other ones. There are some cases that come out where there are, even with, um, you know, the research that scientists have done, if we've made a death in some snails uh, and their populations because we'll all these collections we do for the research. So uh, yeah, that's what encourage people to check that out at the IUCN website, as you can search and see. If you want to try a cone snail and see uh, that it's going to be okay to eat them without feeling uh, as much guilt. So that is the IUCN, the International Union for Conservation.